Hi, in this tutorial, I will going to start explaining uh, what the data source and the data sets in SRS. If you want to start to build your report or you want to learn what the SRS is, you have to know what the star data sets and the data source is. Uh, the data sets, uh, it, it does contain uh, the actual data. Uh, you know, it, uh, a data set contains the information that is needed to retrieve uh, a specific sets of the data from from the data source. And there are two types of the data sets. There is uh, embedded data sets and there is a shared data sets. Uh, I'm going first to talk about the shared and then I'm going to jump to the uh, embedded data sets. And uh, about the data source, the, the, the shared data source, it's used to uh, connect my SRS or to pull data from the source, which is here where I was going to create uh, the connection manager to connect my SRS to the source to in order to pull the data using the data sets. What the difference between the shared data sets the ember and the data sets itself or the shared data source or the data source that will be uh, show up here. The difference is the shared data sets and the data source it's used uh, in a report level which is I can use it in any reports that I'm going to create and the data sets and the data uh, source that will be created here it's used for the only the report that i will going to create it i will give an uh, example right here uh, first uh, go to the shared data uh, source right click and uh, click on the add a new data source here where it's prompt to ask you about the name and the type and the connection string. Let me give the name of the data source and it says uh, data underscore source like this. And go to the edit in order to uh, pull the data from. Let me see here. I have a server name. You need to provide it and from here you are going to select the database it's okay and okay now I create uh, the shared data source for the data set here right click new data set see it uh, tells me that uh, by default the data source it's data underscore source if there is a more uh, there is uh, will be show up here in this drop down list or from here i can create a new data source if i want to and it will show up here so and there is uh, two types to uh, you know, using the shared data source uh, shared data sets sorry either write down a query or if i want to use a store procedure uh, here I don't have the tables available, so I'm going either to use uh, one of these. If you have a store procedure, you can uh, like uh, use it here if it's uh, available. Um, if you want, uh, for me, I'm going to uh, use the select statement. It's simple, like you are selecting from uh, a SQL. Let me come here to show you. That's I'm going to say select everything from like my employees. Okay, I'm going to pull this one, control C and control V. Here is going to show you the uh, the fields if you want to add uh, another field and you want to add it as a uh, like calculating uh, your other columns or do whatever you want to do or pair on your project needs uh, if you want see here there is another options that you want to select for the width uh, the sensitivity and for the accent uh, sensitivity as well uh, if you want to add a filter but simply the filter here you can add it here where you can 
add anything you want to for, to filter your query press ok now I have the data set here I didn't give a name here let me go here and open it just make it unique now I'm going here if you if you want to create a report and we spoke previous uh, video how to create a report using a wizard uh, but now I'm going to create a report which is without going to the report wizard I'm going to the report here let me see I'm going to name it like um, my first report click add this is what I was talking about about the data source and data sets and what the difference between these two whenever if you want to create here a data source if I come here and create a data source I'm going to create a data source it's in the uh, uh, one report level it's not on the project level just like this so it's not it's not going to be shared uh, uh, data source and the same it's for the data sets here and this data sets if I want to create a data sets here it will be only for the my first report it's not going to be show up on the other reports just like the same as the data underscore sets and this is where uh, you can use the shared data sets if you want to to select or use the uh, the data sets embedded in my report which is will be embedded only uh, under the my first report and not show up to the other reports and you can either create a new one or here it's asking for the data source you can create a new data source or see guys is there is no data source being created here so it's empty if you want to use the embedded the data set, the embedded data sets, it does not use the shared data source. You have to create a data source that uh, belong to only to my first report, and then use that data source to create your data sets. Let me show you here a data source. Let's call it data source. my first report so I know this data source belong to this report and go let me go to the SQL pull the name of the server and come to this database and press OK now if I want to create or build my data sets and underscore my first report I can simply uh, see this is that prompt for me the data source my first report and select everything from what database let me call this database here press OK now I see guys I have my data sets is being built and this is the data source and uh, as well as the shared data sets and the shared data uh, source uh, this is uh, the beginning of how to start to build your report uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching my video and see you for next videos thank you